And now new developments in a story we first told you about last week. A man armed with an AK-47 and 60 rounds ready to fire told Spokane police that he had driven to the Union Gospel Mission to, quote, clean up the streets. That frightening confession, just another indication, a pair of undercover officers prevented what could have been a massive a massacre last Thursday. KXY4, Jeff Humphrey working for you at the Spokane County Courthouse now. And Jeff, the suspected gunman facing new charges tonight? Lady McRae now looking at two counts of being a felon in possession of a firearm, that for each of the guns that Spokane police found inside his car. Based on statements that McRae made to investigators, it does appear that he was planning a drive-by shooting, but that attack foiled at the last minute by the Spokane Police Department. So this is the AK-47 with a sawed-off barrel. Those two officers saw a cradle in McRae's arm as McRae drove down Trent Avenue. Before they could even call for backup, McRae was slowing down for the people hanging out near the Union Gospel Mission. The suspect actually drove by the Union Gospel Mission and turned around so that the side of the car, the driver's side of the car with the gun facing out of the window was actually pointing at the Union Gospel Mission location. That's when officers Clark and Vigasaw turned on their lights and siren. The surveillance video shows McRae blowing through the red at Trent and Hamilton, colliding with a car, and then trying to outrun police. That didn't work, and after McRae was arrested, he told officers why he had gone to the mission in the first place. Basically, you could say he had an axe to grind with them. He felt that he had been wronged by them at some point in the recent past. Then he made statements to the arresting officers that he, he was armed for um, cleaning up the streets. Armed with the AK-47 and 61 rounds in a drum magazine, McRae could have done a lot of damage. McRae was a guest at the Union Gospel back in 2016 and claims the mission kicked him out at a low point in his life. Fortunately, a heads-up play by two undercover officers kept something really bad from happening people have these uh, grudges and then go back to somewhere where they think there is an issue and carry out some threats with a firearm. So we're, we're very thankful that the officers were there and I'm very proud of them for taking these steps. Nadine McRae also had a loaded 38 caliber revolver. When police searched his car, they found that he had lowered his seat in the back seat so they could actually ditch those weapons in the trunk and lift up the seat if he was spotted. Over the weekend, the amount of money that McRae would have to post to get out of bond out of jail is now set at a quarter million dollars. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. Thanks, Jeff.